Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are ready for today's video. I am doing an extreme fireplace makeover or living room makeover on a budget. As you can tell, we have this beautiful stone fireplace in our living room. We absolutely love it, but we really wanted to update it and paint it. So I went and got some paint, paint brushes, and I decided to paint the fireplace white. I found some amazing ideas on Pinterest and I really just thought it was gonna completely transform our living room. So that's what I'm doing today. I'm just gonna be cleaning, painting, and showing you guys how I kind of put it all together and decorate the fireplace and show you a before and after of the transformation. So I hope you guys are excited. If you have a fireplace, like seriously, this it was under $50, so cheap on a budget. Um, you can transform literally any space on a budget. Um, so yeah, here I'm just starting to clean. I'm going to clean everything inside the fireplace and then just clean up the stones. And um, we do rent this house, so I did get an approval from our landlord to paint the fireplace. She was super excited about it, so I was really happy that she allowed us to do that. Um, if you are renting your house, it's always... A good idea to ask your landlord before you make any changes like this um, most of the time when it's you know updating the space they're willing to work with you so i was really happy because this was like a spur of the moment project but anyway i'm just gonna start cleaning and painting it is a time consuming project you want to make sure that you really get all the dirt off the fireplace and from the inside so you don't get anything in the paint um so yeah that's what i was just doing over here just vacuuming everything making sure there's not a lot of dirt on the fireplace and yeah let's get started i guess with the cleaning and the painting i hope that you guys are excited to see the final result like i said this was uh, like literally under $50, so easy, so cheap. We got the paint brushes at Walmart for like $3. The paint was, I think it was $25 at Lowe's and we got uh, ultra white. So um, yeah, that was the specific paint for like brick or, or fireplaces. Make sure you get that one and not just like regular paint and it needs to be, um, what is it, latex enamel paint i believe so yeah just check with your local lowe's or home depot and they will let you know which one is the best for stone or brick if you are deciding to do this but yeah let's get on to today's cleaning and painting and uh, doing this extreme makeover let me feel your love again Cause I've been running round in circles screaming out your name Take me to a different place Just the two of us and we can stay up all night Kissing under street lights Doing what we want to Doing what we need to do Staying up all night Everything is alright Oh, I wanna be with you Oh, I wanna be with you Let me be the someone who can hold your hand
Here I'm just using the blue tape and taping the floor or around the fireplace to make sure I don't get any paint on the floor. It was kind of hard to do this part because our flooring around the fireplace since it's stone and it's not completely even, I had to like literally take little pieces off the tape. So take your time on this part if you are redoing your fireplace because you wanna make sure you don't get any tape all over the floor and just it's gonna look a mess. So just take your time, make sure it's all even, and if you have to, just rip little pieces off the tape and just slowly go around the whole fireplace. It's just gonna make your life easier afterwards. You don't have to clean up a bunch of paint off the floor. So yeah, that's what I was doing here. 5 a.m. and we are in trouble But we don't really care Tell ourselves there's always tomorrow but it will still be fair No, they don't pick us up Instead they knock us down And that's the way it goes Until we're in the ground I don't wanna do this anymore No, I just wanna say but the most difficult part of the whole project. This was so time consuming because stone fireplaces is not the same as like painting just a regular wall. It takes up so much, like soaks up the paint. So you really have to dab the paintbrush in between the stones. Like the stones are easier to paint, but then in between the stones, it's like, you know, it, it takes a lot of time and energy to have to like fill it in which is why it took about three coats to paint the fireplace so you really want to take the brush and really dab the paint into in between the stones and into the stones and really fill in the holes of like the fireplace so you want to make sure everything is covered so this took such a long time thankfully i had my husband to help me with a bunch of it but starting out um your arm is going to start to hurt and you're going to get a good workout in but i promise it's going to be so worth it in the end it's going to look amazing but yeah really take your time on this part the first coat 
I just made sure to cover all the stones really well and then I really went in after, on the second and third coat and really dabbed the brush in and kind of worked through with the paint and things that I missed or little holes that I missed. So this was definitely fun, but definitely difficult and more time consuming than I had originally thought. So it was way worth it though. It's a 
right, you guys. Wow, what a transformation. I seriously cannot get over how different this looks and how much cleaner our living room looks. It seriously just looks a lot more modern and bright and just fits our decor so much better. I'm just obsessed. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this transformation. I put some candles in the fireplace because it's summertime. We're not going to be burning the fireplace with real wood. Plus, I just want it to look clean. I'll probably get some different ones eventually. But oh my gosh, I am seriously so obsessed. It doesn't even look like our living room anymore. I feel like I'm at a resort. It looks so cozy and clean. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this living room transformation. I hope you got some great ideas if you are trying to redo your living room. And uh, thanks for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.